while heading back to Houston in anticipation of acceptance into the clinical trial, we are engulfed in breathtaking blue skies with tiny wisps of clouds. Not evident in the sky is the turmoil happening all over our planet. Hurricanes, tsunamis, tornadoes, wildfires, earthquakes, war, devastation, heartache. But in all of it, there is hope. Romans 12.12 12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. No matter what we are going through or waiting upon, we have hope through Jesus if he is our Lord and Savior. After my last visit to MD Anderson, my son, who is getting married next year, came to me with the big question, the white elephant in the room I had not wanted to face. He asked me if I had the conversation with my doctor as to how long I have to live with my incurable cancer. It's not that the question hasn't crossed my mind, I just had not wanted to ask it. As a promise to him to ensure beyond my control I am present at his wedding, I would ask the question of my medical oncologist this trip. Once all the tests were completed, it was time to meet with my doctor. As usual, she asked me how I was feeling. I feel great, as if nothing is wrong with me. She talked about the results of my tests and told me I was accepted into the clinical trial, an answer to many prayers. She also informed us the CT scan showed no additional tumors. Hallelujah! It's about 5 o'clock here in Houston. Um, started out this morning with a blood test, an EKG, CT scan of my abdomen and lower, just to make sure I don't have any other tumors, and there are none. Praise God for that. Um, waiting for the crew to come in and um, start the injection of the clinical trial. I've been approved for the Trudelvi clinical trial, and we'll be here for another four hours once that gets going. So. Um, we got a really nice room here. It's uh, it's our own own room, so I'll show you what that looks like. So we're feeling kind of special there, right? And all the special staff around here. I've been handing out my uh, healthcare hero cards to everyone, so that always puts a smile on their face, which again puts a smile on mine. She also finishes our appointment with time for questions. So I asked the big question. As my cancer is quite rare, there is not a lot of examples to pull from. She shared an example of one woman that developed the cancer in 1978 and just recently passed. This cancer, as all cancers, vary from person to person. For some, the tumors grow very slowly, others quickly. Mine are considered moderate. The clinical trial Tridelvi has been shown to be very successful for some in stopping the cancer growth and non-eventful for others. Basically, she said if I were to do nothing and let it take its course, I would live three years. If this clinical trial does not work for me, she has others on the back burner. We left feeling hopeful and at peace. There is always hope. God willing, I will be at my son's wedding next year and someday loving on the grandbabies he and his beautiful bride will be blessed with. Steve and I and my oncologist will not stop until all possibilities are exhausted. Tune in next week as I continue this cancer journey and experience and conquer the new side effects from Tridelvi. Thank you for your continued support and prayers. Have a blessed week.